Yo, hi everyone, twitch.tv slash gamesager here, uh, back with another Wild Hearts video. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to show you guys basically the comfiest build in the game that I have found. So this new update made it really easy to make a ton of new and different builds that you just couldn't before. And this build is basically designed to just make the game easier. It uh, makes deeply volatile hunts uh, significantly easier. This is not a speedrun build, this is not about beating enemies or bosses or anything in like one minute flat. Uh, but you will beat normal mighty monsters in about a minute and maybe volatiles in like a minute or two. Uh, but you know, DB volatiles, you'll probably be around like three to five minutes with this build. But the thing that makes this build so great is that it's just so easy. It's like you're playing Bloodborne instead, but Bloodborne on like easy mode. Now, uh, you can use this on any weapon in the game. Some weapons have better versions of this right off the bat that you could go ahead and buff and then just make really good. But some like the Wagaza, if you want a raw version of it, you have to uh, spam the inherent skill changes to try to get Karakiri Coordination Remedy. So this build is just about stacking uh, Karakuri Remedy like crazy on your weapon. Um, so like the Nodachi, for instance, already has a weapon that's raw with plus 20 on it. If you're using Nodachi, that's the one you should be using. Or Hammer, etc. All of those, a lot of the weapons already have a full plus 20 raw Karakuri coordination, but Wagaza doesn't. And in this video, I'm just using the Wagaza, but this works with any weapon. So yeah, for the build, you are going to want to try to spam one of the inherent skills until you get Kyakuri Coordination Remedy plus 16. Uh, to do that, you want to save your game and then go to your weapon of choice that you want to use. For me right now, I'm using the Golden Tempest Umbrella that starts with Parry Boost Fury plus 15% and just 5% base crit, but there's no reason you can't do this on any other. The thing is, is that the inherent skills are kind of set in stone when you're going through them. So when I saved, this was one of the ones I was able to get to plus 16, the cheapest, so I just went for it on this one. So yeah, for this build, you could use it either Human Path or the Komodo Path, it doesn't really matter, but this is one of the best builds in the entire game to actually utilize a Verve, because Verve is kind of not that great, because you get hit by a flea, and you suddenly don't have it procced, but with this build, you pretty much will always have full health. So this is what my current one looks like, this is just to make it as comfy as possible, but if you wanted more damage, like parry boost or anything, you can, and if you want to heal even more, you could go ahead and grab the plus two and the plus three remedy on your way down, and you will heal quite a little bit more. Now, I tried having recovery boost on, and recovery boost does not affect how much this heals you, uh, and... For the armor, if you're doing kimono path, go ahead and put on your main kimono stuff, uh, except for arms and the legs. Uh, and if you are human path, I would suggest going and putting on all of the golden tempest armor, except for the arms and the legs. Uh, the golden tempest armor is going to give you a lot of extra stamina and then verve on all of them. And honestly, just makes it just feel so easy. You feel like you're never running out of stamina. Uh, verve should be procced most of the time, and you're good. Uh, for the arms, you're going to want that the whisper echo florals and then for the legs you're also going to want the whisper echoes as well the arms are going to give you destiny plus 10 and then character coordination remedy plus three blackout recovery 33 percent and then the legs are going to give you resurrection and another plus three remedy now for and then for your talismans you're going to want to just stack a bunch of plus five character coordination remedies um, I have Dodge Master on one of mine, the plus 20% since I'm on Wagasa, and it's just making this build ridiculously comfy and just so easy to counter everything. And you, you get these, the plus fives from fighting the, exactly what I'm fighting right now, the Grim Kill. And you could also get some easier if you're earlier in the game, or if you want to just farm some faster ones, you could get them from Amaterasu. But Amaterasu's are going to be weaker. I am pretty sure fighting Grimquill specifically, that you can get Karakiri, Remedy, and Verve on the same Talisman, and that's my goal. I, I really want to have like all Karakiri, Remedy, plus 5, and then Verves to have a build that actually does a lot of damage and then also has a ton of healing. But yeah, as you can see, when I'm fighting, like it's uh, this build specifically is the one that's Dodge Master. This is supposed to be like my comfiest build ever for Rugaza. Uh, it's extremely easy to counter everything. But when I do get hit, all I have to do is just jump at the guy with uh, with the Celestial Thread, and then I get my health back. This works on every single weapon. So the reason I'm using Celestial Anchor is for it is because I get knocked back. I can just jump one midair and go at it again. You have to touch the floor though. If you do two jumps and attack with this, you're not going to heal. So you have to touch the floor. So that I'm pretty sure this is the balance it. So you couldn't just like spam jump and heal your entire health. 
this works really good with torch the bouncer the boxes everything so whatever you're using you will be able to just like you get hit and then immediately just go ahead and counter using uh, a katakiri thing and you will heal if you if you stack this on a weapon that has uh, base plus 20 uh, just make sure you level that weapon up all the way and then you can put two inherent skills to make it have a ton of damage as well uh, And if you put the plus three and the plus two from the skill tree on a plus 20 plus you have all plus five talismans and the arms and legs You'll get almost half of your health back every single time that you use a katakiri uh, The damage is not that much lower it like in this video it might look a little bit lower because I also was just trying a thing where I ate a fish with follow-through because I wanted to see how much stamina I could actually keep but yeah, been testing a lot of different weapons, and this build is really fun, it's really easy, it's just really kind of relaxing to play, it doesn't take much effort at all, and you're just so much tanky, I just feel like an absolute super tank like this at this point. But yeah, this should probably, this should be pretty much the easiest build uh, you'll ever play, you do not need some crazy mechanical skill to do anything, you don't need to be a speedrunner. Uh, this isn't going to just like stagger lock the enemies under perfect conditions or anything, but you are going to... Uh, have the easiest time just being extremely aggressive and just throwing yourself in the fight the entire time You don't have to back down nearly as much and you just like constantly just go at the boss And not have to worry about healing almost ever you still should heal sometimes just because you know It's gonna make things easier, but you don't have to and yeah, that's it for the build. I hope you enjoyed the video uh, Don't forget to check out my stream twitch.tv slash gamesager and I will try to make some more build videos for this game Let me know what you think if you want more like this because I know most builds are just like highest damage ever take One hit to kill you and stuff and yeah, I thought I'd make one that is pretty fast But also very easy and accessible for everybody. So yeah, have a good one everybody